The color changed from green to turk. The yep. color changed from turquoise to blue. Okay, there we go. I think this is right then. Um, but I don't know, like cathars. They seem, and they're following this blue path. But I can't interact with the blue path and say, like, look, I know that there's a blue path here. Town of northern so these this is the only town that they seem to have actually gone to of northern a town of north no okay that's unhelpful um so we've got one that comes down this way but doesn't seem to well maybe it comes to here a town of north huh So maybe that's wrong then. It was a candle. Out of fire, 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 fire. Just what this place needed. Bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. And out of so what was out of fire? Purity, wasn't it? N yeah, out of fire, purity. Okay. A town of North. Huh. Cathars. They. St right. Okay. So, maybe I've got the lights wrong way around. Right. You're the one who brings light. So out of light, we got truth. Out of light, we got tr we get truth. The light is truth isn't a thing. Um, it? it was obvious. Hmm. It's only wisdom, isn't it? Um, and all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue, and that the light of life is green. And thus was the light of Eden both blue and green. Um. So maybe they're meant to be cyan. I don't think green's right. Color changed from green to turquoise. Maybe I need to change this one as well. The thing is, I think I think we need blue to see these lines, because I don't think it doesn't look like the cyan's got any lights on it. Unless I'm meant to push it along this pathway or something. It was a candle. The candle was lit. Yes. Wing mirror. I'm pretty sure I didn't want to burn that. No, I didn't want to burn it. Oh, maybe the medallion on it. Red light from the medallion fell onto the fresco, mixing with the other colored light. It meant something. But I didn't know what. So that's gonna be purity. Okay, right, 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 right. So this has to be green. So I was right, because then when we mix the three, red, green, and blue, that'll give us white. So the color changed from blue. The color changed from magenta. The color changed from red to yellow. The color changed from yellow to green. Unless I'm doing it horribly wrong, and I'm not meant to do this, and I'm meant to find some white light to focus, something kind of bright and white to focus it through. Red light from the medallion fell. Okay, I didn't do anything. Oh, if only I still had the uh, diamond ring. Hmm. Senor Marquez? Yes. Does all that colored light falling on the fresco mean anything? I don't know, senor. That is why I need you to help me. 
What's the deal with these lenses that the statues are carrying? Clearly, they change the color of light that is reflected onto the fresco. But why? A and why the different colors? Hmm. Anything about the chapel? Why was this room so well hidden? After Monsegur, my ancestors were very careful about announcing their presence. Even I, as a boy, knew nothing of this place. How did you know this was the chapel, then? So, Jehovah, he's God, isn't he? He is the central figure in Abrahamic religion. But he represents just one yes. aspect of our Gnostic beliefs. The physical world. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the one with the sun? That's the Christian one. The one who spoke to Muhammad? That's the Muslim one. Or the one who is neither of the other two? Because that's the Jewish one. Oh, but all, all religions, they don't, they don't make inclusive claims. They all make exclusive claims. All of them. They can't all be right. So this statue is Satan? Not Satan. Lucifer. It's the same person. Okay, so not evil? The church demonized Lucifer to suit their own ends. Which were? He represents the spiritual and intellectual elements of the world. Good and evil are simply products of the human condition. So what is the human condition? And how can evil be created ex nihilo? I like using that phrase. Out of nothing. How can you just have... You're basically saying there is no morality in, in your religion. But before you said, each of them needs to be in balance, or bad things will happen. So there's morality. So therefore good and evil exists. Ah! I'm asking many more about this religion. I'm going to go insane. Right, okay. No. What would we need to do? The light of knowledge is blue. The light of life is green. Um, no, this is the wrong one. No, this is what I want. This was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. So the light of Eden, I think, would be this. Red light from the medallion fell onto the fresco, mixing with the other colored light. I mean, is there any way I can put this? That would... Hmm. I could try and go down again, but I don't think that'll work. Hmm. I need, like, a magnifying glass. So I can magnify that, I, I think. I think that's what we need to do. So, out of light, purity. So we need that to be white rather than red. Uh, out of struggle, knowledge. So that means that's blue. Out of light, truth. Now we don't have a light of truth. We have a light of life, which is what he's got. The window illuminated the glass in the statue's hand. But we don't know what the light of life, light of truth is, do we? Unless maybe it's meant to be white, but. We don't have the option on white. And all should know that the light of knowledge is blue, the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. So the light of man is red, for those two to combine. Um, the light of knowledge is blue, the light of life is green. Maybe they're meant to be switched so that they're casting their light on the other person? Hmm. Well, let's try flipping them. Let's try flipping them around. Don't the color changed from blue. I don't the think that makes sense. I don't think it makes sense the for them to switch them, blue. but the color changed from yellow to the other idea doesn't seem to work. Like we, well, we don't have anything for the light, for the fire to be purity. 
for it to be pure light. The color changed from green to which would be white. Turquoise to See what happens if I do this. Amazing. The light is showing the path. The path of the Bonzon. The what? The sacred trail my ancestor took across the Pyrenees, carrying the Tabula Veritatis from Montsegur across the mountains to this town. This town. And which town is that? I don't know. That I cannot answer. But its coat of arms is quite distinctive. <gasps> yes. I'm aware of that. But how does it bring us closer to the Tabula? It tells us the route the Tabula took 800 years ago. I think that's all we're going to find up here. You're right. We should return to the hall. Eva will be getting worried. Should put the candle out. Safety. Route 777. Seven, the number of perfection, and if you say things three times in Hebrew, it makes it the most. It's a, 777 is the most okay. perfect. We found the root of the Bonzon Trail. How does it help us? Number of God. Somehow relate to the bending. Papa, are you crazy? What are you doing? I'm fine. Don't fuss. You got me out here to look after you, so let me do it. Ramon is outside keeping watch. George, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? There's a secret chapel above the fireplace. But it's not your average everyday chapel. It's a Gnostic chapel. All laid out for worshipping not one god, but two. What? I'll tell you when we have more time. You know, I found some things too, which might connect with all that. Come to the library. Oh, uh, could you bring the painting? I think we're going to need it. And that's why 666 is the number of the beast, the number of the devil. It's because 6 is 1 less than 7, so therefore it's imperfect. And so 666 is the most imperfect. Right. We are looking for this coat of arms. That coat of arms. It was a shield on which heraldic symbols had been painted. That's the... The coat of arms was exactly the same as the one depicted on the fresco. Precisement. It read Berger. Berger. Okay, Berger. Have you brought the painting? Oops. Ah, uh, no. I immediately forgot that. I was busy, I was distracted by coats of arms. Because they're fun and cool and exciting. What are you doing with La Maledizio? Nico found something and asked me to bring the painting. I promise to take care of it. I'm going to burn it by accident. Eva, go with him. Make sure the painting comes to no harm. I should stay with you, Papa. Don't worry about me. La Maledicio is more important. Apparently. Apparently. Have you brought the painting? Sure, why do you want it? Because I found out what Ganon was up to. The Ganon who tried to buy the painting from Madovsky? No. Ganon, who led the fascists here during the Civil War. Ganon, who then spent months here searching for something. And who vanished one day, leaving that trunk full of goodies over there. You think he's connected to the Ganon who wrote the letter to Madovsky? Absolutely not. It seems likely that they were related. Hmm. Maybe. You're an idiot, George. So, what's the plan you've uncovered? Take a look at this. He's going through all the cities looking for the towns looking for the Tabula Veritatis. It's Ganon's map. He was searching for something. Searching for what exactly? <laughs> the Tabula Veritatis. Oh my goodness. You think he found it? I doubt it. If he had, then people wouldn't still be chasing after the painting. It's burger. So why did you want me to bring it? See this scribble in the sea? It's the same shape as the circles around the Ouroboros. Yes. Genan thought that pattern in a painting had something to do with a map of Catalonia. So, I uh. guess we try to finish what Ganon started. I'd put money on those circles around the Ouroboros being places in Catalonia. Oh, I see. But which places? 
Maybe the painting can give us some more clues. Or well, maybe the fresco? The map had to be the key. Usually. So, for example, mark the key. to mark a location, pick up a pen and place it on the map. You will know when you've created it. So, for example, Denny, we know one of them has to be Berger. So, the coat of arms on the fresco pointed us towards Berger. Then it must be important. So, it must be this line somewhere. So it must be in that line. Actually, that's really unhelpful. Thinking about it. Now, I would say this is probably also quite important. This was one of the locations highlighted on the fresco. And this was the starting point of the journey of the Bonan. The good man. The Cathars, right? Two locations down. If the vignettes on the painting were anything to go by, I needed to find two more. Two more? I was thinking four more, because that, that's... I was thinking the pattern, or two, three more, sorry. Because that's the central one, and then that one's up there. So, the other option, then, is maybe it's not there. But, I mean, we know... Okay, so it's like the Castel del, uh, del Sant is not on the map. So, that's frustrating. Huh. Actually, San Ramon. The village of San Ramon. San Ramon. Ramon told me he was named after a, a saint Ramon. There we go. There's also a saint on the page. Which has its mouth looked. Yes, he has a hefty padlock to his lips. I'd found three locations. Now I had to track down the last one. So we've got these two and this one. So this it's gonna be one of these three, I think. I wasn't sure that I had all the information I needed to pinpoint the important locations. Because I don't want to just randomly do it. Can I look at my map? At the painting? Right. Dog-headed man. It was the figure of a priest, but with a dog's head. The figure was pointing up at a ring above him. So that's that one. So this one is this. Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. So that's an affluent town. So that's... Oh, that's the castle. There we go. Right. That doesn't help. It's... Time to take another look. Please remember these ones. Good. So it's something to do with um, a dog place. So that'd be Cannes or something. But there aren't any. That's unhelpful. Um, the municipality of Granoyes. The location didn't sound familiar. I need. So let's grab that. I decided to put. I wasn't sure that I. Yeah. So we need some more information. Is there anything else around? They hadn't been touched. Look in the trunk. Maybe there's something else in here that provides a bit more insight. I removed the oil cloth from the chest. Maybe there's something in it. Oh, no. I picked up the blank. I lifted the hat out of the chest. Can we take it? There was something... 